Hey everyone, it's me Christine. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be really, really chill, really calm, because if I'm not, I'll get emotional. And on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon, I'm not trying to get emotional. <laughs> I got some pancakes, already ate a little bit. I also have a little bit of tea here. So I wanted to talk about my plan, my future, as to where do I start? I don't know. We're gonna start here. Perfect, perfect spot. I just thought one day, hey, let's open up a little bit. Let's honestly set some goals for myself and actually put it out there and not feel ashamed of them. Let's go down to the basics. I'm 19 years old and uh, no, I'm not in college. I have gone back and forth on whether or not college right now in my life is for me. And in no way, shape or form am I against college. I'm not against university whatsoever. But when your gut, your heart, your instincts is telling you that a path is not where you're supposed to go right now in your life. I talked about this briefly in my past vlog, but you have to trust yourself. And it's really scary to do that because a lot of the time, not going to university, not going to college equals a not very secure path. So at the end of the day, when it comes to it. After, I would honestly say the past three years of me trying to figure life out, this past June, I decided to trust myself, to go with my gut, to, a little cringe, but chase my dreams. I decided to say, frick it. For me, university is just something that isn't for me right now. And the craziest thing is, even when I was younger, like we're talking kindergarten, I never saw myself in university. I, I literally never did. I decided to trust myself. I decided to believe in my younger self. And so what does that mean now? Well, like I said in the beginning of this video, I don't want to be ashamed of this or fearful of this, but more so ashamed because I feel like for so many years I was ashamed to admit this, not to myself, but to other people because it's weird and like, ooh, why would you do that? I have wanted to do this, to make videos and to be creative every single day of my life. I cannot tell you, I cannot express how happy doing this makes me feel. Yesterday, your girl got monetized, which is, once again, a calm video or else I'm gonna get emotional. It took me a couple days to actually apply because I'm not gonna lie, I was terrified. And you might be like, why, are you, why were you so scared? Isn't it like an exciting thing? Yes, it is exciting, but I really wanna talk about this concept more later on. I am terrified of the girl that I want to become, of the human being that I want to be, that I see myself as. I'm so terrified of actually reaching my goals. But aside from that, looking forward, I am going to try my absolute best to push myself out of my comfort zone. I want to be so committed to this and I want to work my ass off for like the next year of my life, see where I'm at with all this. And it's not to say that if I'm not really successful in a year that I'm gonna give up or I'm gonna quit. No, that's not the, that's not it. Although I know I'm fully capable of going to university, going to college, achieving some degree in something, I know how unhappy, how unsatisfied, how guilty I would feel that I'm breathing, that I'm living my day in a way where I'm unhappy in a way that I know I could be better and I could push myself more. Even the idea of vlogging my life more is terrifying. No matter how badly I would want to vlog, no matter how badly I would feel this creative fire when I think about, oh, I should vlog, I would get scared. And I know it sounds so dumb, but I would get scared of the girl that I want to become, of chasing what the frick I want to do with my life. Maybe to draw more of a picture for y'all. Imagine the human being that you would want to be in like a year. Are you not terrified of that human being in a way that's like a good thing? <laughs> oh my goodness, can I actually be her? Can I actually be him? Can I actually be them? 
can I actually do that? It's so scared. Like, I'm just scared. I'm a, I'm really scared and I'm so doubtful of myself. And it is what it is. Like, it literally is what it is. I am the way that I am, but I have got to overcome that. And I will. I will. This is a massive goal that I would love to reach. But at the same time, if I don't reach it, that's okay. It's actually okay. Oh, and another thing. If I fail at this, I had to really sit down with myself and think. If I fail at all this, I know for a fact that I wouldn't think of it as a waste of time. I know for a fact that I could at least reflect, saying, at least I trusted myself. At least I believed in myself enough. Anyways, going back, I would love to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. It is a massive goal because I'm at 1,427. Yes, I know the exact number because I love all of y'all so much. And the end of this year is short of three months. So I have no idea if that'll happen, but I want to set the intention. I want to put the goal out there. And once again, stop being so afraid and not be ashamed of my goals, not be ashamed of what I want to do with my life. It's a massive goal and if I don't hit it, it's all good. But if I do, but if I do, think about that for yourselves, y'all. What if you actually reach your goal? Like what if? Almost done the pancakes, sipped on the tea. The tea was lovely with the pancakes, by the way. If you're feeling ballsy, comment down below a goal that you want to set intention for. You just want to like get it out there. I love it when people have goals. Like it just makes me want to cheer you on 10 times more knowing that you have a goal. Thank you all so much for watching. Go check out the Instagram. And if you care to follow, give it a follow at it's underscore time underscore y'all. Subscribe, join the time, and I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. I don't know what I was trying to say. Okay. <laughs>